get your hellos in if you would like to. Let's begin. Double Barrel Daedalus Failure Arc is Patience, Sarah. Uh, flash Freeze and Tundra Assault Drain. Martian Girl, in the VOD you will not hear the answer because in, in the Twitch VOD there will also be no answer. Whatever I said in those uh, 5 or 10 seconds where there were no frames, those, are, those words are lost to the ether. But uh, Dr. Q Daddy is saying... Uh, we got Flash Freeze and Tumbra Assault Drain. You don't think Cold Channel is pickable here? Oh yeah? Well, how about now? Do you still think Cold Channel is bad? Now that we've been offered commemorative spike? I mean, actually, uh, Light's Gift isn't bad. I ain't. It's S-E-H-I-G. Is who Dr. Q Daddy is. I'm gonna pick the good relic now. See, yeah, you can say see Hig, I guess. My cold channel. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I recall that individual of which you speak. I do, in fact, know who it is that you refer to. Hmm, yes. Why'd you say it like that? You tried Dire Channel to test it out? I've played it once or twice and I always went, ugh. This trial might hit me for a little bit, but I'm not too concerned. Pretty good. He's the only soul guard you like. Yeah, he's pretty strong. He feels good to play. His stats don't feel like a ridiculous overkill anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. Makes sense. The, big, the thing I didn't like is that you did a lot of encanting for a unit that felt like it was a little bit... Like, it wasn't worth it. With the new... Uh, it feels a lot easier to hatch him now. And I don't know why. Maybe I was just playing it poorly in the past. It's possible. I got kind of lazy here. That's okay. No damage, plus a trial. You like to see it. I'm a pretty big fan of Crystallis. I feel like in Stygian right now, you want to have a plan that scales on the top floor and you just kill the enemies with spells. That's been what I've been finding the most success with. But I'll keep my options open to a Gorge unit. I'm gonna see two Stygian banners though. Shadow Weaver today. Are we? Are, are we? Do you have plans to take Shadow Eater today? I certainly don't. I kind of want to try like Extreme Stone Crystallis or something like that. Spell Chain? Actually. Kaylee is a treat. No, she was really bad. I want to try this. I think Extreme Stone is better, though. You're back. Welcome back, fish. Hello, hello. I'm a 
bit quiet. I have moved the microphone for you. I should be less quiet. The possible clan combos, isn't it six? That sounds right. There's 30 and then with the exiles. Times five, times two. Yep, yeah, seems right to me. Good work. You've cracked the code. trying to hypothesize where we're going on this run right now. I'm not sure. This card is stuck to my mouse. How'd this happen? You call a fish with no eyes blind. True that they don't have eyes? I'm not a fishologist, so I don't know. Yeah. Any any fishologists in chat? Any fish engineers? I don't want Ice Tornado, I don't think. I may be down to try Mollusk Mage, but where? Archstone Mollusk Mage? Hmm. You like fish sticks. I haven't had fish sticks in a long time. They're alright though. The seafood is alright. Except for shrimp cocktail. If you eat shrimp cocktail, I think you're kind of weird. Not too weird, just a little though. Alright, I'm gonna pick perils. You made a fish? <laughs> you what? What do you mean you made a fish? How did you make a fish? What does this mean? The Siren of the Sea. Strike? I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, my favorite song, The Shape of Water by Ed Showran. Do I really want to play Eogorgon? Some people have been asking if I've played a run with Eogorgon yet, so like I guess I could. It's just... weird? It's just weird. This is uh, yeah, not eligible. So I just need to give him, like, plus 25, right? I give him plus 25, and then I make two of him. The we the thing that I'm not sure about is I don't really have a good way to buff Eogorgon. Dusk, is Eogorgon a unit that you say you can win from any position with? Is this unit that broken? Because I was ready... I, I'm, I'm wondering if it's... Oh wait, I just infuse a Siren of the Sea Essence on it, don't I? Like, I just put this on Eogorgon and he wins, doesn't he? Because he'll encant up. Even even slowly, it's still nuts, isn't it? 
It's a shame because I just bought that multi-strike. I guess I wait and I do it uh, here though. Eh. What else could I infuse on him? Let me look. I don't think there's a lot. armor, right? Armor is considered a status effect in this game. So yeah, really all I think you can do is give him Siren. Rage Siren might be slightly better. He clears status effects so you can't do Rage Siren. Yeah, so I think what we want is we want to give him 25 Duplicate and Infuse Siren. give him we take space we put him behind soul guard the thing that worries me is those essence that's multi-strike in one energy big vampire is common former big vampire hasn't gotten me yet so they don't really stand a chance big vampire i'd like to see him try Trying to work out what I want to do here. I think it's plus 10, plus 25, infuse Siren, and make two of them. The problem with making two of them is playing two of them behind Soul Guard. With Titan Channel Soul Guard being our frontliner, is a little bit scary because they're going to take up our first two turns. So maybe I just play one. Is one Eel Gorgon enough? I can take one. I dodge the Ember Drain if I do it. Hmm. I think it's enough. I'm worried about uh, 25 health, but maybe I don't need to be worried. Gorgon is the least fun new rare. I think that I disagree because of Morsel Made. Let's just try one. I don't think you need to. Steel Singer is kind of clunky. I, I think that he's cool when you get him going, but that unit is big. I feel like Steel Singer is probably the best designed rare that they put out in this set because he has a payoff that feels worth accommodating him. Oh, this is insane. I mean, this just kind of removes all of our fears. The Petrified Heart I don't think I need. Even I might end up trying to sneak Lifesteal Morsels. Although, realistically, I won't. But 10 health on Soul Guard is a drop in the bucket. And I don't want to take 10 fire damage there, really. Yeah, of the new rares, I think that. Double them and put Titan Channel on the bottom floor. You're right. I think that loses, though. I think you need Titan Channel to frontline. Because I think you die to the Divinity's waves if you put the two of them up there all on their own. Oh wait, I have Light's Gift. Yeah, you're totally right. I could do that. I forgot all about Light's Gift in my calculating. Isn't the crazy exotic design they went with in other rares? I mean, it's a it's something new though. It's a perma scaler, which is something that they don't have in Awoken. After Mississippi backus, does it start with an eye? 
I think you just get pulled over. <laughs> I, think, I think you just get arrested for driving backwards. That took Mollusk Mage, it feels like a lifetime ago. Cash, hello. People arrive for you as well. How's it going? Just woke up? Oh god, dude. <laughs> you good? Okay, the big eater. It's like, it, it doesn't really matter, though. That's the thing. Like, sure, it feels like a waste, but it really isn't. Because I don't think we need anything. Shade Splitter is maybe the strongest card in this deck because it's a... It's a one-cost spell that can be played anywhere. I think it's better to not take anything so that we don't mess up our Eogorgon draws. Maybe if they show me Shadow Eater. No, he's too space. Or, he's too energy. I think he's kind of awkward. I guess the Guard is interesting. I think it's bad with Borgon power, though. Or Frost Effigy, though. I feel like in the last Divinity, they could probably bring Guest for a Guard back to two energy. The card has trouble finding a use case, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe you take Refs there as a free and can't. You may be right. I don't want any of these. Feels like a double draw, take a hold over peril sort of line here. Now that so now that my eyes have been open to the the interaction with Eogorgon. It was good to not have Plink. Yeah. I think so. Although I don't really need the morsels, so you know. A little frame droppage there. Yeah, the internet is unstable. Enjoy the momentary slideshow. We hold over perils. Finally! This run has to go to YouTube. I can title it at long last I use perils correctly or something like that. It's been so long. Yeah, I think this run is just done. First few rounds are a little scary. I'm not too afraid though. The cards that can be played anywhere get a lot better with Wormkin. Yeah, I agree. Like Plink honestly is not that bad. It's a it's a frustrating card to play, but it would not be terrible in a run like this, right? I recognize that I could uh, pick off this Quill Marksman with Entumbra Assault. Pull over duping perils? Yeah, probably. Honestly, I think so. If it's offered, I might take it. Because, yeah, it's free incants, it's free energy. Like, it does everything we want. Perils of Pogduction. Poggers of Pogduction. Cranberry, what have you done? Cranberry, what have you done? Add spell chain. I think it's better to add intrinsic because then we just always have it. 
Perils Pog Production. Poggles Pog Pog Duction. Pog 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 Pog. Oops, don't say oops to me, Cranberry. You know what you did. Maybe we find a spike? That would be pretty fun. Add a cool spike to this. Poggles of Wog Duction. <laughs> Make it stop. Make it stop. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You know, imagine if you want to make Yogorgon bad. Imagine if this unit removed at the end, like as an action, so it removed it at Relentless too. This is my fault too. What do you mean it's my fault too, Cranberry? Name one way that this is my fault. Finally embrace perils. Yeah, we finally embraced perils. All it took was a unit that purged Ember Drain. At long last, he's done it. Uh, Guardian Samulet's okay. When they get bounce, I mean, it's just the unit goes from being really, really good always to it, like, it, you commit a lot to it for it to not win Relentless anymore. Yeah, like, it, it just becomes Siren, but significantly worse, right? You just don't want it to be only your fault. That's fair, Cranberry, but it is, like, entirely your fault. You are the master of Paul. Everyone, look out, get down, he's gonna Pog. Token of a traitor is fine. Making Shade Splitters free is good. What's gonna happen on this run is I'm gonna get frustrated. I'm going to start to try and uh, speed along things by not playing Morsels, and I'm going to accidentally float a ton of Morsels. Cool here? I bet you can do this. Yeah, and now this has offering on it. That's kind of neat. So now if I discard this, it'll also play a Crystallis for me. Cool. I don't really know what the use case is for that, but it's neat. You could give a card two offerings. Unhinged power because you'd have to be unhinged to remove and flame with it. Tonight, I am not unhinged. Tonight, I am not on my villain arc. I have good news for you. Did it get consumed on offering? It should. Taoist, I believe I neglected to say hello. How's it going? Everyone, feel free to sound off. How you doing today? Hope you're all having a good one. What is it today? It's Monday? It is Monday. Yeah. Hope you're all having a nice Monday. Heaven Seal frightens me slightly, but not much. Be good, good, good. I talked about it a little bit in the YouTube video today, I think, but the new TFT set releases... I talked about this yesterday, actually. I remember now. I did talk about this yesterday because Martian Girl hit me with the uh, old lady book emoji. Remember that? 
<laughs> I remember that. But yeah, that comes that releases on Wednesday. So if I enjoy the game and I have a good time with it, I will potentially stream it this weekend. Was this so good here? Yeah, shout out to uh, was it Sir Daniel for pointing that out to me. Card's insane, I can finally send this one to YouTube. The sports team failed you, not Pog. Not Pog. Cranberry, your day was great, I'm glad to hear it. I don't think I did anything too remarkable today. It's nice because I've I've reached the point where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make it through this semester, okay? Like nothing terrible is going to happen to me in this semester. Which is nice. I just have to go through the motions of doing the rest of my physics over the next two days. And then I am done. And it feels good. But yeah, sometime this weekend I might give it a give it a little whirl. I streamed an auto battler on uh, oh I, I streamed a little bit of an auto, auto battler a while ago, and it was a good time. I played a little Hearthstone Battlegrounds when I was playing a bunch of that. The nightmares where all you remember is that you're failing your class slash didn't go to class at all. I've been having a lot of uh, but I've been having bad dreams also. <laughs> at him. I've been having some bad dreams where like in the dream I go out in public and then while I'm out in public I, I like I'm, I'm every time in the dream I'm out and I'm going somewhere real quick right I like I go to pick something up or like I drive someone somewhere and then I have to get out of the car for some reason to do something like I have to go in and pick something up right and every time the dream is oh fuck I don't have a mask and I'm like, damn, I will never recover from this, will I? This has replaced my school anxiety. I now am like, oh god, I'm going out in public and I don't have a mask. A flash freeze, so why not? It's because I want to disrespect the frostbite mechanic. Primarily. Uh, Frenzy Swarm is cool. can use it on the Divinity. Also, unnamed home to silence Syrah the patient, though. I think that's actually a little better. Sure. Any damage shield? Sure. Rune Terror reveal tonight? Dude, I've tried to get into that game so many times and it just never sticks. I really want to love it. Oh, Tiny, how's it going? Not doing too bad. How about yourself? The weather was, uh, it's cold today and I don't understand why. Uh, school for four years and you have the test nightmare? God. I actually don't have the test related nightmares a whole lot. Uh, I want to check if there's intrinsic here. I'm down to go big. Just take two of these. You try to tear you go wow and TGA is still way better. Really? I've heard a lot of people say they really, really like Rune Terra and that it's really worth it. I mostly looked at Rune Terra as a game that I'm like, okay, this is tangentially related to what I stream, but has a bit more longevity maybe because of the, the way that it works. You can't see electronics in dreams. It's a very specific thing. It's a very strange and specific thing to have in your dreams. I like when Terra didn't like Hearthstone. I tried it when it was in beta and I was like, this is cool. And then I just got uh, kind of lost. 
lost interest in it, I should say. The teamfight tactics and just auto battlers in general I've been having a good time with. Look at those Ember Dream Slurping Pals. Alright, look at the what? I'm gonna play the silence because I just wanna push another 60. I'm gonna have to go and it's fairly generous. Like I've heard I've heard nothing but good things about it. You get surgery nightmares. Thankfully I've never had a surgery. Like I've never had to go in for a major surgery. So I have not experienced any uh like I've, I've been pretty lucky on that front. I'm due for an incant shard on the top floor. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm about to see. Oh, I guess not. I guess I'm going to somehow on this run dodge top floor uh, anti-incant. Very good. I heard you, yeah, but like I'm still gonna ask. Why'd you have to say it like that? You could have used different words, couldn't you have? The mining should go on Soul Guard. Ah, well, why did I say this? <sighs> I actually think that it doesn't matter because I have so much energy. I can just play both perils anyway, and who cares? Do these units not slurp Ember Drain? The only thing I'm trying to slurp is that good, good chug jug. That seems statistically unlikely, doesn't it? That 10 health unit dying from 5 spells being cast seems... unlikely. Ten cogs on the board right now. Hmm. Yeah, you are correct. I should put Void Binding on the Soul Guard. But what about my energy? God, you're right. Peril's actual. Oh, God. It is so bad. That's crazy. Inflame gives one more rage than Perils of Production. And Perils also is two cost less, and it gives energy. This is the third Trample Stone I've been shown. Stop showing this to me. There's a reason to take space, and the reason is because I don't want to have to keep scrolling down to play Morsels, but... I'll take enter or draw. I think a 15 from the next one and we're done. Surviving cool. top on divinity? I don't know, I think he's just gonna die. Our unit has 68 health, I guess. Hmm. Well, I guess you're right. Maybe now I have Founding Seal, so it doesn't matter. But, and also, uh, Mark of an Exile should let Soul Guard just win Relentless. So, uh, yeah, roughly this. To answer your question, Dusk, I'm just gonna high roll, I think. Head empty, no thought. Yeah. Think ahead, plan. I mean, we do have the damage shield to survive Divinity. I can, like, block hits with this, I guess, but... 
you know. I don't know what boss it is, but instead of asking and finding out, I'm just gonna really not care. I'm just gonna really not care. Like 2.5k to the Divinity 1v1? Yeah, it's pretty... depending on how much damage shield too, right? I guess not quite, because it would wear off, but, you know. Approximately this is what I was thinking. No, oh, don't press end turn. I gotta scroll down and play the morsels. Hold over drain. Yeah, it's like there are there are options that I could look for in this run, but instead of thinking, I just high roll. The more I high roll, the better off we are. This dude has 124 health, doesn't he? I'll still click on the magic shop. I'm gonna click on, uh... I'm gonna click on something. It probably would have been better to take space, though. In hindsight. Yeah, this just wins. <laughs> this unit does 100 damage per round. And still loses before I encant. Rough, brother. Absolutely tough. Now he dies. You know what this run means? Uh, skip to the end button. Spike of the Stygian? You know what, Daos? You're right. This run does need Spike of the Stygian. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, Crucible Extension reduces the amount of time I have to think. Hmm. I will wait for the frames to come back because I have dropped my frames. This run will probably reach YouTube. So I'm glad I'm recording it. Am I recording it? Nice, I am. I'm going to spell chain that one. Pre recorded? I mean, as far as YouTube's aware, I am pre recorded, yeah. Frequent but small. It didn't have been that frequent. There have been nights where it's been very bad. Tonight has not been terrible. Yeah, sure. Give me fossilized things. For what, you might ask? I don't know. Why not? Answer me this question. Yeah, these decisions don't matter. Take a third perils? Third perils is probably bad. Give me like a, you know, their own name poem. This run is pretty over. Maybe Patient Seraph could do something to me here. Maybe. No, if I play bottom floor, I'm losing. I just have to eat it here and it's okay. I'm pretty sure he dies very quickly anyway. That's what I'll do. I'll do this.
Hi <laughs> YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, ring the bell as well. Don't forget to ring that bell. Uh, the bell always tolls. Throw some sap at him. Yeah, yeah, you gotta subscribe to the video. It is a common misconception. Oh no, I'm dying. Never mind. Uh, the second one, I actually shouldn't have played that there. No, the first one can go there. The second one has to go here, though. A thousand and one damage. My frames are dying. You're correct. They are. I will wait. They sure are, but they're back again, so, you know. And they're gone again? They're back again? Yo, know, the, the bitrate is not doing too well. I gotta tell ya. Where did I get all this sap from? I'm pretty sure I kill it on this turn. Maybe not quite. But it's close, isn't it? It's half his health. Result in me being like 20 seconds behind. Yeah, the real the real scam is that it also it, when I drop frames, you have to refresh to catch up to me, and then you have to uh, you have to refresh. Which causes you, to, like, because you refresh, you see an ad. That's the thing that really sucks. Hopefully, for subs, that is not a problem. But unfortunately, for the non subs, that is a. And they've been cutting back on their allowance of ad blockers as well. And it's just like a whole thing, you know? Not much I can do about it, though. You're lucky, mister. He's lucky he gets to go into Relentless today. Raymond, I sure am. It's weird, too, because I'm set to stream at 4,500 bitrate, and for some reason it just occasionally jumps up to, like, 7,000, and then it dips back down. Tried calling it in. Why, I sure have. Yeah, I'm actually, it's actually a big plot to, uh, to get extra ad revenue. You know, I've been streaming for two years, and the total amount of money I've made from ads is, like, I took a look at my overall income on Twitch recently, and over the last two years I've made, like, a hundred dollars on ads, maybe. There I do, how's it going? Hey, hey. Sounds underwhelming. I mean, it is. The, it's why I don't really, I could probably up it if I did like ad breaks and things like that, but I don't really stress it too much. If I were to fit in like a one minute ad break every uh, two hours or so, if I like put in two minutes of ads every few hours, or yeah, yeah, like if I were to run three minutes of ads total over the course of the stream is what I am trying to say uh, in multiple ways that don't convey the message very well, it would up the numbers quite a bit, but I don't really run the ads because, you know, why? An ad break after everyone. I know I could, and like most people are pretty supportive of the idea, but I'm like, eh, why, you know? Energy drinky gamers should drink if it's not from the ads, you know? I think you guys can kind of suss it out yourself. I believe. Frustrations with the health that works. It happens to everyone with all devices at random. No, I 
can't give you a specific device because it's all device. That seems like a help desk answer, yeah. IT help desk, what's your problem? Try turning it off and back on? Huh. Unlucky. I don't know, there was a period of time where I did run ads. Like, I would take a quick break midstream and run some ads, but... I don't know, I'm kind of over it, you know? Game the armor guy for 10 armor while increasing floor damage by 100. Yeah, it's a fair trade. I think, anyway. Not dead yet. Here. No, fuck, he gets to he gets to incants when I put up damage shield. No, no. It's neutral. <sighs> I tried to save him. But in the end, I couldn't save him. Good run. Someone was asking in the Discord and on YouTube if I've had any runs with Eel Gorgon. Or Glug, or like I've, I've seen people asking for Glug, Eel Gorgon, Steel Singer, and Morsel Maid. And I had Morsel Maid recently, here's Eel Gorgon. I had Steel Singer yesterday, I think, and then Glug today as well. Crazy. We've done it all. Eogorgon bring in the clicks? I'm not actually sure. I haven't put Eogorgon in the title lately. And this Glug? Yeah, there was a Glug run earlier. Alright, instead of bringing the thing up again... Oh, I should end the recording, by the way. Uh, goodbye, YouTube.